And now to the Caribbean, where violence has escalated dramatically in Haiti. Hundreds of civilians have been killed, and what started out as a fight between armed gangs and the government has become a free-for-all battle. In fact, some gangs have reportedly set fire to members of rival syndicates, and nations are sending charter flights to evacuate their citizens. But who will rescue the Haitians? Our next report explains. Armed gangs have launched a new wave of attacks in Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince. What started out as gangs versus the government has now turned into an all-out war in the Caribbean nation. Dead bodies are scattered across the streets. Hundreds of Haitians have lost their lives to the violence. Thousands have been displaced. Their homes have been completely destroyed. Gang leader Jimmy Cherizier started the chaos. The violence has forced Prime Minister Oriel Henry to resign. The announcement of his replacement has been delayed, and this has led to more chaos in Haiti. The U.S. says that a new transitional government is the need of the hour. Washington is directly poking its nose in Haiti's internal matters. It, it is not hyperbole to say that this is one of the most dire humanitarian situations in the world. Um, gang violence continues to make the security situation in Haiti untenable, and uh, it is a, a region that demands our attention and action. Meanwhile, the U.S. has sent special charter flights to evacuate its citizens from Haiti. Other nations have also begun evacuating their embassy staff. As others pack their bags, it looks like no one wants to lend a helping hand to Haiti. Meanwhile, the gangs in Haiti say they will not recognize the transitionary government. Gang leaders are calling it an attempt to control Haiti. We don't recognize the CARICOM meetings. We don't recognize the UN Security Council meetings. We don't recognize the body group meetings. We don't recognize the meetings held at the White House. Haiti's destiny has already been made and is not part of any of these groups. Without a government, Haiti has descended into complete chaos. Gangs have now started turning on each other. The aim is simple. Whoever has more muscle wins. Some gangs are also capturing members of their rivals and setting them on fire. And amidst the gang war that was started by Jimmy Cherizier, a new mafia leader has risen. Escaped inmate Ezekiel Alexander has rallied thousands in his support as he vows to take back control of Port-au-Prince. I feel sad when I see the area devastated, when I see older people and children, and when I see how they destroyed the biggest hospital in the area. I'm here today to help people return to their homes. It's not easy to do in one day, but with the support of the people, I'll do what I can. Meanwhile, Haitians who are caught in the crossfire are wondering if they could have done things differently. When I woke up to go to work, I found I could not leave because the neighborhood was in the hands of bandits. There were about 30 men with heavy weapons. If the neighborhood was mobilized, we could have destroyed them, but they were heavily armed and we could do nothing. Civilians have been dealt a risky hand. On one side, they could join a gang but face the brutal mafia war. Or they could side with the government and be targeted by the armed gangs. For the Haitians, it's only a lose-lose situation.